Hey guys, it's Chase, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a switch light that came in for a broken USB C charging port. So, typically on these boards, um, at least sometimes, the USB C port doesn't always blow chips, but sometimes it does. So, we're going to go ahead and check and see what's going on on the board, and we're going to go ahead and change this port out. So, without further ado, let's go to the microscope and have a look at this port. Oh, yeah. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. Completely shot. Um, one thing I wanted to check real quick is I noticed some corrosion on the board. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's definitely liquid damage. But that cap may have survived. Let's go ahead and clean this liquid damage off real quick. Yeah, so that cap doesn't look half bad. Okay. Yeah, the cap's kind of blown out, but probably going to have to change that cap from another board. Um, there's more. If you look at my one video, or my the last switch light video I did, um, it was about corrosion and liquid damage right off the bat. Ooh, there's some liquid damage right there on that chip, too. But at least this is cleaning up a whole lot nicer than the other switchboard was trying to clean up. Hopefully this chip isn't dead right here. Anyway, let's go ahead and change this port out first and we'll go from there. Apply some flux around the port here. And we are going to be using 350 degrees Celsius on the hot air. We'll go ahead and remove this port here. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for the solder to just liquefy here. There it is. And there it is. Or just liquefied now. And pull it right out. Perfect. We didn't pull any pads. Amazing. Alright, so let's go ahead and reflow some of these pads with some leaded solder. We're going to add some flux first. We're going to mix the leaded with the lead free. You don't have to do this, but I prefer to do it. But you don't have to. There we go. Now I'm going to clean this up here with some IPA the whole point of using leaded solder on these pads is because when you go to put the new port on and you tin the pads with leaded solder it makes a much better bond than if it was just lead free and leaded together and you don't have nearly as good of a bond with just leaded and lead free. Really quick, I want to change that one capacitor that's right down here. This is from that one board from the last video that I did with the liquid damage that was really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this cap right here and we're going to go and put it on our customer's board. Let's go ahead and clear this area up real quick. All right. Okay. Put the cap right in its place. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and clean up with some alcohol here. Alright, let's take a look at the job we did, and that will work, my friends. Alright, 
So let's move on. We're going to go ahead and put a new charging port on. Apply flux to these legs here. I like to take my soldering iron and just get all of these pins coated with solder. So what ends up happening is, is it makes a really nice bond when you push it down onto the board. First thing to do is apply flux on these pins, pads here, and those anchor points. All right. Okay. All right, perfect. Push down on the port and remove the heat. Okay. Let's go ahead and check our pins that are exposed here. Just make sure they're making a good connection. Ooh, that one is not. All right, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and touch up these pins. These pins here. Put some flux down here. Apply a little bit of solder to our tip here, and we're just going to flow these. Perfect. Go ahead and clean up this area. They're all now soldered perfectly with no issues. Perfect. All right. By the way, I also wanted to clarify, this was an original switch port, and so I did file it down with a file. So that's one thing, you have to use the original switch light port, or you have to file down the uh, original Nintendo Switch port. Okay, now we'll go ahead and hand this one off to Big Boss to reassemble. We don't have a Big Boss. Everyone needs a Big Boss in their life. Alright, so I have the switch mostly back together, so we're just going to go ahead and plug it in and see what it does. Alright, cool. And look at that. It's charging. Beautiful. Alright, yep, yeah, 15.3 volts at 0.48 amps. That is basically normal for the switch light. That will conclude it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.